Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Hi, my name is Mason Vale. I am the executive director of the Amargosa Conservancy. We're a small nonprofit working in the Amargosa River watershed. And I'm here today to speak to a current situation unfolding uh, right against the boundary of Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge, which is in the heart of, of that river watershed. Uh, what we're keeping our eyes on is a situation regarding some proposed exploratory drilling uh, on public lands managed by the Bureau of Land Management directly against the northern boundary of Ash Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. And if you're not familiar with this area, the refuge is a protected refuge uh, managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. It's really a remarkable uh, part of the Mojave Desert. It's the largest oasis in the desert. Uh, it's about 24,000 acres of wetlands, sloughs, and springs. And it has the distinction of supporting a huge array of uh, really unique and rare wildlife. There are 25 species of, of fish and plants and animals that live at the refuge that live nowhere else in the world. 12 of those are already listed as endangered or threatened. And so this proposed exploratory drilling uh, is really of, of grave concern because it may impact the groundwater flow that sustains the whole refuge and, and the species that live within it. And so where this project is at right now is a, uh, a Canadian mining company called Rover Metals has notified the BLM of their plans to do exploratory drilling, which would consist of drilling about 30 holes at a depth of 250 to 300 feet. And they're doing exploration looking for, for lithium in this area. And we have a lot of concerns about that exploration in terms of its potential impacts to some of the nearby springs that depend on the flow of groundwater through this section to sustain that. Um, at this time, there is really no opportunity for the public to provide input or comment on this situation. It's considered a notice level operation, so it doesn't require federal approval, so there will be no environmental review at this time. And so what we're trying to do is to uh, really give the, the public a chance to, to express their concerns over the situation. We have a petition on our website where you can go and sign up uh, and express your concerns and your willing, your desire to see the BLM uh, conduct more of an analysis, pursue some consultation with the Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, and to give the public the opportunity to provide comment on this really significant project. So you can do that on our website. It's www.amargosaconservancy.org. And there's the Save Ash Meadows petition, and we're looking to, to, to really secure as many signatures as possible. We have a goal of 2,000 signatures uh, by the end of the week. So you can log on and help us through that petition.